Hi, I'm Jason Krause, Twisted Brown Trucker Band, for Kid Rock, guitar player, rhythm, uh, 17 years. So how'd you get started in all this, Jason? Oh, uh, damn, probably uh, back in 10th grade, 9th, 10th grade in high school, coolest kid in school, long hair, smoked cigarettes, got the chicks, <laughs> you know. Just wanted to live the dream, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. There you go. So, you, what was your first guitar? Can you remember that? Yeah, it was a, uh, it was a Magnum. It was a Les Paul Magnum copy. It didn't even have a name on it. it was, uh, I think I got it for 50 bucks. Spray painted it red, and uh, that was my first used guitar. I, my very, my first real guitar was a, a Dean Explorer. I think it was an '83. And uh, my, I got that from my godmother for Christmas one year, and that's when I really got serious because I, I had a better guitar than that cool kid in school. Yeah. So then we, I actually started a band, my first band. Actually, that was the only band I was in up until I joined Kid Rock. It was a death metal band called Aftermath, and it was me, my brother, a friend from school, and a couple friends from school. And that's where I cut my teeth doing uh, death metal, Slayer, Venom, Exodus, all that. <coughs> Satan worshiping, <laughs> and that was my thing. And uh, you know, I, I, the first time I ever performed in front of everybody was a ninth grade high school talent show, and we did uh, Metallica for Whom the Bell Tolls, and uh, an old Bathory tune. It's a, some obscure death metal band, and uh, we, my drummer spit blood, and I wore the spandex and had the Kerry King bracelet on. <laughs> that was my thing. And then the Kid Rock thing, I was in that band for like ten years. And uh, I went to high school with Uncle Crackers, so that's how I, I became friends with Kid Rock, Bob. And uh, they were looking to put a band together. Kid, Uncle Cracker calls me one day and he said, you, you, wanna, uh, you interested in trying out with, for Kid Rock? I'm like, hell no. <laughs> no, man, I'm not, into, I'm not into that shit. So he called me. Two weeks later, he called me again. He's like, well, we just got this big show. Just come check it out. We need a guitar player. So I, you know, my aftermath band was pretty much done at the time. So I went and did that, and that, that first show we got a record deal from Atlantic Records. So I'm, I can hang with this. <laughs> so I decided to stay, and uh, here we are, 17 years later. 17 years. 17. That is amazing. Yeah. What were the transitions with gear over the years? God, you know, we go back and forth. It did uh, everything I recorded off of Devil Without a Cause was uh, Marshalls, 800s, 2000s, um, Les Pauls. I used a Carbon Split V, was one of the guitars used. You know, I've, I've gone, I've, I used Orange for a bunch of years, the AC 30s, went back to Marshalls. Previously, now I'm using a uh, Diamond, it's a boutique amp out of Texas, and Bad Cats, little uh, 112 combo amp. They're, they're just badass. Yeah, real rich sound. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And guitars, I use, uh, you know, I, use, I used to use a lot of Gibsons, but um, God, probably about eight or nine years ago, our production manager, Shakes, introduced me to this guy's uh, this company, GMP. And they've been my number one guitar since. This, this thing is, a, is just a beast. It's a tank. I use it every single night. And, I mean, I, I fly with it without a case. It's, it beats a shit. But this thing will not go out of tune. This thing, it, it's a tank. It is. Well, they, this company uh, ended up getting sold and then rebought by the previous owners, Dan and Kim Lawrence. And, uh, and they got a hold of me, knew I played these GMPs and built me a couple. Now the new ones I got are now are my number ones. The SG triple pickup with the Bigsby is the, the baddest guitar on the planet. I just, that, that's my number one. You'll see tonight, I use, I'm gonna use it the entire night. So what, what is it about the GMPs that just set themselves so far apart from you? You know, if, if I knew, I'd be building guitars. <laughs> I wouldn't need any of them. I, I don't know, it's just, it's something about it. You know, why did I, why did I marry my wife? And why am I still with her after 12 years? It's, you know, it's, it's just the love of it. It's just, it just feels right. And it's just, you put it in your hands and you just know it's it. So you go with the graphics? Because they do some pretty wild graphics. I did. My old guitars, one of my Vs has a... Uh, Confederate flag, it's a flying V with the stars and bars. And then uh, I got an American flag with the flames on it, with the stars and stripes. I got a plain white flying V, eggshell, plain black flying V, and then uh, the, the bright white triple pickup SG. Which they're, and every one of them sound different, but I love them like they're my kids, as they're all equal to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Well, everybody says the same thing. They, they stay in tune, also. They do. They, they're they're built like tanks. I, I I don't even know how else to put it. They're just 
Well, Kimberly said that uh, you definitely got some cupcakes coming. So. <laughs> Pretty famous for their cupcakes too. Yeah, I've heard. I've, she sent me some pictures to my wife's Facebook page, and and they do. They look delicious. So I probably don't need them, but I'm gonna give them a shot. If you could go back in time and change something, what would you change? God, I've had such a rich life. I don't know. I don't think. You know, honestly, I don't think I would change a thing. I mean. Look at this! Look what I get to do. I mean, this is this is a life. I, I mean, I dreamed of it as a kid. I, I worked my ass off nonstop to learn how to play this damn thing, and uh, I, you know, and I did it. I made. I thought, didn't have to make no huge sacrifices. Just did what I loved, and man, it's a great life. What advice would you give someone who's thinking about doing this as a career? How just how, how do they get become successful? I would. I would just say. Be, just be persistent, you know, persistence pays and it's, you know, you work hard at something and, and if you, you know, you obviously got to have the passion and the fire in your belly for it. If you don't have those things, then, you know, you're probably not going to. But I mean, obviously, you know, just don't give up. Persistence pays. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for, for taking a break. I know you're exhausted. You guys been on tour. You need to go back up and play some more golf. Yeah, I got a, I got a tea time tomorrow, actually, in Pensacola, so I'm, i got to get my rest. This is Jason Krause from Kid Rock's Twisted Brown Trucker Band, and you're watching Rock This Magazine. Yeah. Bam. Thank you, man. <laughs> All right. That's a wrap. <laughs>